The zebra mussels have infested a lake near Marble Falls, Texas. The team has been tasked with helping the city of Horseshoe Bay set up preventative maintenance for the impending invasion. Well, when we first started off, we went ahead and surveyed, you know, what we had and what, how it was coming out. Uh, the, we discovered that uh, they had actually poured a, uh, a concrete uh, cap on top of the pipeline and actually uh, rip wrapped the pipeline for about 20 feet. So basically you can't have access to the pipeline underneath or around it. So in order to be able to get the, the clamp done at that point, it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't suffice for that last 20 feet. But uh, after the 20 feet, then we have a good exposed pipeline that comes out up to the first buoy there. And uh, as he was inspecting along it, you know, he actually was uh, walking beside the pipeline and he went to go fall into a hole. Well, when he fell into the hole, you know, he got back up and grabbed the pipeline again and discovered the flange was there at the hole. And then as he was inspecting the flange itself, he was able to actually stick his hands in between the two flanges, which actually had an opening, which created a, a void to where, you know, whenever they were sucking water, it was actually drawing from that uh, from that connection because there was only two bolts actually holding the pipeline. So at that point, we had to all stop because we couldn't pick up on this side of the pipeline without breaking it or breaking it free from that side of the pipeline. So we went ahead and uh, had them get some more bolts, and we went ahead and reflanged that whole that whole section up. So it was nice and solid. Once we got that nice and solid, he went ahead and uh, finished out the inspection all the way to the end here, and he found the end. And uh, yesterday morning, we went ahead and hooked up to it and actually picked it up out of the water. Once the pipe is brought up to the platform, we can already see many mussels that are starting to accumulate. The city of Horseshoe Bay has laid a protective pipe, which will run on top of the intake pipe. It will be used to house the one-inch chemical injection line. We discovered that, again, there was only about six bolts in the flange and, you know, actually only two of them were actually good. So it was, uh, it was another situation where we had to redo the entire flange system on there to redo the bolts because we didn't want to pull on that anymore either and, and you know, essentially break that end off. So we went ahead and reflanged all that up. Once we got that all reflanged up and we felt comfortable about, about being able to, uh, you know, put a little force on the pipeline, that's whenever we went ahead and uh, engaged the tug and went ahead and moved the pipeline back out into deeper water because the storm had actually blew it up against over there and it was only about 16 feet of water. So now that we've pulled it out a little bit straighter, we're back in about 20 feet of water and that's pretty much their target zone where they're after. So We went ahead and cut the, uh, the chemical injection line hole. So basically that one inch line is going to come out of that four inch conduit line, come down and curve back into the pipeline so that they can inject you know, their chlorine as they're, they're drawing their, their uh, uh, raw water for the plant. And basically what that's going to do is keep all their muscle growth uh, out of their pipeline and out of their wet well and off their, uh, their pumps inside. The zebra mussel is a highly evasive, small freshwater mussel that multiplies rapidly. They can cause tremendous environmental and economic damage if not halted. Their larvae microscopic, and the adults are usually less than one and a half inches long. Zebra mussels are usually found in large clusters, have primary zebra-like striped patterns on their shells, which is unlike many other mussels. According to the National Atlas of the United States, once zebra mussels become established in a water body, they are impossible to eradicate with the technology currently available. Oh, right now we're actually getting ready to uh, fuse the four inch conduit line. We've already got the, uh, the intake up and out on the, uh, the barge out there. And basically we're gonna, we're gonna move the conduit line out for the uh, chemical injection line that can, that's gonna feed through the center of it. Once we get the uh, chemical injection line out, then we'll actually feed it into the intake for the chlorine injection to uh, stop any zebra muscle growth. You got it hooked up, Logan? All right, you ready for it to start moving out? Hold on a second. We gotta fuse those. It takes like 15 minutes. So, we'll try to hold it up. Yeah. We'll get it stretched out and touched. Pull the end of the 
As the next section of fused safety pipe is pulled out from our small boat, it's reversed to the max. There is idle talk and foolishness from the crew. Logan changes out of his wetsuit. The concept of a calendar is conceived. Put the hat in front of you, everything, man. We're gonna make a calendar. It ain't gonna sell, but it'll be there. Batman calendar. We yeah, have a, calendar. a group of log loggers do it. So they all like have their shorty shorts and their axes and they're all like saying, getting it. Dive hat in front of you and a bundle of blue bonnets or something, you know, and just make real Texas. We would like to know your thoughts on a calendar. Please comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, right now we're we're almost there. They're having to fuse a few more individual pipes. We're just a little bit short, as you can see. So uh, probably about another 60 to 80 feet. Another three or four more sections, and we'll be able to actually meet up with the with the barge. We'll transfer the uh, pipeline over to the barge and then we'll start uh, marrying the two together. Anything to add, Logan? Yes, give us your thoughts. I got, I got nothing right now. Come on, I need some goods. No, no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Once the pipe has reached the end of the intake line, we temporarily secure it. We call it a day and return the next morning. Now we have to take all this stuff over to the other side and we have to load it all onto the boat and we have to hook up to the boat and then we have to take that over to the launch and we have to launch it over there. So. That's why it's been taking about an hour each day to get get everything fired up. So we're gonna get everything onto the boat and hopefully get it out there on the lake so we can start uh, sinking this pipeline. And we gotta get the jet pump so that way we can uh, flood the pipeline so hopefully it'll sink, but it's HDPE so I'm pretty sure it's just gonna stay floating on the surface. Heading out to the barge right now. Uh, got the floating pipe. We still need to feed the conduit through it. We're gonna get out there and go ahead and mount the uh, current pipe to the pipe that's uh, we've already pulled up in the actual in intake line. And from there, we're gonna feed the other conduit through it, which is the actual fluorine injection line. So hopefully, before we even sink the pipe, we'll have the other end out and inside of the screen. And we'll drop everything down and start actually adding the mounting brackets for this line to the pipe all the way back to the intake. The challenge this morning is to ensure the underwater mounting and strapping procedures are completed properly. We must also prepare for the challenge of pulling on that strap that will feed the one-inch chemical injection line. Right? <laughs> Pulling this smaller chemical injection line is a heave ho and a bucket of fun. Beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
flexing and possible drifting as before. Pond Dredging Commercial Diver and Dredging Services. American Underwater Services provide specialists to clients, engineering, construction, and maintenance teams, all while utilizing premium equipment that includes dredging machines, cutting edge diving equipment, and industrial standard high powered underwater construction equipment. That combination of unique expertise and state of the art resources means we consistently finish projects ahead of schedule and under budget. Some people still don't grasp what we do, you know, they just can't comprehend it. Our 26 years of experience as American Underwater Underwater Services is the premier and longest standing diving dredging company for virtually any commercial underwater job. We offer innovative cost-effective solutions to your commercial diving, pond cleaning, and dredging needs. We build enduring relationships with our clientele by going above and beyond in all we put our hands to. Consult with us today. American Underwater Services. Aquatic Engineering. Done right.